Guys, how do we all like Pan's laboratory? Um, to be honest, I'm not too hot on this one. I feel like I'm too retarded to understand what this movie's trying to tell me. This is definitely like one of those movies where there's a lot of like metaphors and shit going on. I'm not sure if that is the case, to be honest. Um, I think it just wants you to think that's the case, Jackson. I I feel, I feel like it is. I feel like it's like a story of a girl that's caught up in something way over her head. Her childlike I, wonder got her killed. To be honest, I really think that the B plot with like the fascist V commun you know, like the military stuff, I think that really took away from the movie and they should have like cut all of that down, fleshed out the fantasy stuff a bit more, and just made it like a slightly tighter and more focused movie. I feel like the point of the military stuff and the focus of that is that that's like actually what's happening. That's reality, like the harsh reality that she's not trying to, you know, actually bear witness to. She's stuck in her own fantasies. I don't think any of this fantasy stuff actually is happening. I think that's all mm. the shit that's happening in her fucking head. Mm. And I'm pretty sure that's like her trying to look away from what's actually going on in the world. But Jackson, her mom dies when the mandrake burns. I think that's just convenient timing. <laughs> Yeah, and, like, the father does, like, actually interact with the Mandrake. Well, she just, he just picks it up and it's not moving or anything. Perhaps. You know, it's completely stationary. I think I think this is all just, like, a... It's a war metaphor or something stupid. That's my thoughts on it. I thought the, the presentation for the movie, like, the shots and stuff were all pretty good. I think the acting was really good overall. Yeah. I don't know. I, for me, it's just like, I thought I really liked all the fantasy stuff, and then everything else I was just kind of meh on. Fair. I definitely didn't, I wasn't, like, even knowing my interpretation of this movie, I still don't think it was very interesting. I definitely, I definitely thought the fantasy stuff was far more interesting than the fucking warship. I couldn't yeah. give, I couldn't give two fucks about the warship. Yeah, I'm definitely a Tanner here. The warship was uh, really fucking, uh, just, like, boring. I did not care about it very much whatsoever. Show me more cool fantasy shit. That's what I want. Where are you guys ranking this one? That's a great question. Let me see. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Alright, so currently in the rankings, we have uh, Parasite at A+. The Big Lebowski at A minus, and Godzilla King of the Monsters at B. Uh, this is a very hard movie to rate. Yeah, I think personally, I, uh, for my taste, you know, I think it's probably on par with Godzilla King of the Monsters, so I, I'd <laughs> give it a B. They're very similar movies. <laughs> I don't think it's on par with Godzilla King of the Monsters. However, I will still put it in B tier. I was thinking like B and B minus. I'm glad we're all on the same page of this. Uh, I can't wait. Like, there's no way Dylan rates this well, right? <laughs> no, no, no he's gonna, this is fucking so weird. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> he's going to see something in this movie. Though. He's going to rate it like S tier. He's going to have a fucking third eye moment and understand exactly what this was trying to represent. Maybe. I'm going to go and watch a YouTube video on this movie. It's going to make me think I'm fucking retarded because there's like 30 different metaphors of things that were yeah, happening I, simultaneously. I, I, I was I was literally already going to YouTube and checking for Pan's Labyrinth reviews from people I like. Yeah, there's, but, uh, there's yeah, you know, definitely something going on with this movie that we're not picking up because it's just like a first watch kind of thing. Oh, for sure. But yeah, so I'd say Provincial... Rating until we get Dylan's input is this one's landing at a at a B. A B tier movie for for this though, especially like the big complaint of like half the movie being boring as fuck and us not caring about it. It's still pretty high. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I think it was well done. Yeah, absolutely. It just wasn't necessarily uh engaging for me, you know.